don't, don't, don't call me Superman If you haven't found my kryptonite What is going on YouTube? It is the Big Cops 360 here And it has been found out that at least one of AMD's Zen APUs Will be boasting a relatively large GPU And will be featuring at least 128 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth Repeat, 128 gigabytes a second of bandwidth Now look guys to put that into perspective, the 7790 has 96 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. The 7870, sorry, has 154 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth, and the GTX 960 has 112 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth. Now, stop right there. It's not that easy. That does not mean that this APU will be faster than the GTX 960. I mean, it could be, but I heavily doubt it. All it means is that, in terms of memory, in terms of the speed of the memory. Um, this APU is theoretically better. Now, of course, it's not that easy. You need to count um, the stream processors, the texture mapping units, and our uh, core clock, memory clock, and all that other shit. It's not going to really be like that. But what it does tell us is that it's a very big improvement over, you know, Kaveri, Carrizo, all, all AMD's other previous um, APUs. Because, look, Keep in mind, back in the day, those APUs were limited by system memory. Now, with Zen, the APUs themselves have their own VRAM because of HBM and how small HBM is and the fact that it can be stacked. Um, the APUs can now have their own VRAM. That's a very good thing. And as a result, you've got HBM. It's very fast. You get yourself 128 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. It's absolutely insane. So... Of course, that in itself is very good. I mean, we're moving away from the whole DDR3 thing. Now, when will DDR4 save us? <laughs> we don't need DDR4 to save us anymore because we've got um, HBM on the APU itself. So that is very, very good. Now, of course, as I said in the previous video, AMD was saying that with the Polaris architecture, which I assume will be found in Zen APUs, we're going to be seeing console grade performance within thin laptops, you know, small form factor PCs or, you know, laptops, tablets or whatever. So this, if one of these things is in a bloody, um, you know, like an ultra book or something, that could be really interesting. That could be some really good shit. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's the console grade performance that they are talking about. So, yeah, I mean, continuing on, you need to think about the bigger picture. What about uh, when DirectX 12 and Vulkan hit? And you can use, um, you know, the multi-adapter settings. You can use um, mix and match GPUs. Imagine cross-firing one of these APUs with, like, your Fury X or your 290X or your 390X or, you know, the 490X whenever it launches. How sick would that be? You're just going to be getting performance on performance on performance. It would be absolutely insane. It would be great, and it would just help... The PC platform as a whole. Now, of course, look, regardless of all this, regardless of how good the GPU in this APU might actually be, it's all going to be irrelevant if the CPU is shit. Hopefully, man, hopefully. AMD is quoting a 40% IPC increase over Excavator, I believe. Or is it bull? No, it's over Excavator. Hopefully, man. We need to hope that the CPUs themselves, the Zen architecture, is good. It's looking to be good. AMD believes it is good. And AMD knows that it's their last hope. Zen and Arctic Islands and Polaris, all together, they're all AMD's last hope. So I'm hoping they deliver. They will deliver. Come on, you got to be confident, man, that they will be able to compete with Intel and the big green team in the future. I'm hoping this APU... Um, I'm just hoping it's successful. I don't know if this is going to be the flagship APU, like the 7850K equivalent, or, you know, I don't know what it's going to be, but we're just going to have to wait and see. At the moment, right now, though, it's kind of just like a rumor. We don't actually know. we still got to wait for the Zen APUs to launch, because remember, they're not even launching this year, apparently. They're apparently coming in 2017. So, yeah, we're more than a year out from the actual launch of this chip. Unless, of course, AMD can get their shit together, and then they can launch the CPUs and the APs this year as well, along with Arctic Islands and, you know, the Polaris architecture, the big umbrella. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. So, look, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And comment down below what you think. 128 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. That's faster than 960. Um, but, of course, 960, everyone knows it's got terrible um, memory. It's got really bad uh, memory issues. It's just so fucking slow. The stupid 128-bit memory bus. Look, I'm not going to get into that. I'm seems I'm done with the 960. Thank you. Goodbye.